clinical dementia rating scale sum of boxes. Now, this is a clinical interview and you, it's semi-structured. So you have a questionnaire that you have to ask. But the premise behind it is that the other half of your interview with initially the caregiver and then the person living with Alzheimer's disease is that you tailor the rest of the interview to the person that's in front of you. So there are some things that we mandate that you do, but then we give you a little bit of flexibility. And I think that that's a really good thing. Now, we don't mention executive function, attention and working memory in the questionnaire. So we rely upon raters to ask relevant questions, do relevant tests. And good raters do exactly that. And I think part of the reason why we see such poor correlation between the ADAS cog and the CDR summer boxes is because the content is just very different. And if they're not similar content, it seems unreasonable to expect a high correlation. And the benefit, I think, is that rather than reading people words, uh, sorry, having them read words and then testing their memory, is we say to the caregiver, tell me something you did last weekend. And they'll maybe tell us about a restaurant trip. And then we can collect that memory data and then ask the patient about that experience. So it's, it feels like real memory. And I would argue, to go back to that issue of clinical relevance, this is directly relevant. I spend much of my life telling people what I've done recently. And my ability to do so competently, I think, is a very important part of my everyday function. Okay. So it feels like we're asking things that are a little bit more relevant. And that's, I think, a really good thing. The challenge we have is because there is flexibility, we all might have a slightly different angle on how we do this. So psychologists, when they do the CDR, tend to do lots of formal testing. Others I know tend to do very little. And, and that does is raise issues of reliability. So possibly we need to be a little bit more prescriptive about what gets done in the clinical dementia rating scale in future trials. Maybe formally augment it with some other things to make sure that we all index the same things. So that would be my argument. So in sum, what would I say? I, I would say that the measurement instruments that we use are probably not quite what we need. I think we do start to have to think very seriously about how best to measure executive function in particular, but also those other domains. And I think if we could bolster the contents of some of the structured interviews that we do with the clinical dementia rating scale, we would probably enhance the quality of data collection. And I think we would turn it into a more reliable instrument. Thank you.